What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In that Alright guys, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. We are over here on the bags today because we got this legendary series going and we've already talked about Andy Hook's spin, spin hook kick, spin wheel kick to the thigh. We talked about Johnny's Terrio front kick into the lunge punch legendary technique. And there's one guy that really comes to mind when you talk about a legendary technique and that's Crow Cop's left leg. Now they say Crow Cop's right leg is hospital, Left leg is cemetery. So we're gonna talk about Crow Cop's most devastating kick, the left leg, cemetery. And we're gonna talk about just why this kick put so many people in the grave. All right, so one, let's talk about real quick why this kick was so effective. I believe that this kick had zero telegraph to it. It was almost like it was just from the ground to the target like that. No telegraph, no wind up, it was just there, which made it very hard to figure out when this guy was gonna throw it. Very little time to prepare and block. Number two, the accuracy of Mirko Krokop's left leg and where he placed it. The majority of his knockouts were very high head kick knockouts. What I mean by that is, it wasn't neck area, it wasn't jaw area, it was the top of their dome piece. Because I think when Crow Cop threw it, he knew that his opponent's got small gloves, not able to block but a small portion of their head because the glove was so small. It's not like a kickboxing glove where you can throw up and pretty much cover up your entire skull. So whenever, he would, whenever they would block it, they would block the jaw because that's where most people aim. He aimed top of the head, all right? Now, if you guys know this, you know, amateur fighter, pro fighters out there, even you can see this a lot um, in the UFC, and people are, are kind of catching on to these knockouts and where to place their punch or kick, the top of the head is a great place to put somebody out, all right? And that's where Crow Cop did most of his damage is when he aimed above their blocking hand and kicked the top of their dome piece. And number three, final, is most of his guys were orthodox. And Crow Cop was a southpaw fighter. So they fought in an open stance, which makes it easier for Crow Cop to land his left leg. Because in an open stance, you don't have the shoulder to block. It's just kind of a straight shot to that head. And most people, when they see a technique coming, it's natural to lean forward than it is to lean back. And most people, when they saw that kick coming, they leaned forward into the head kick and right to that sensitive spot on top of the head. Put him out. All right, guys, let's show the roundhouse. Now, he threw a round kick. Now, of course, you know, he said his right leg was hospital and his left leg was cemetery. I'm gonna throw my right leg just the fact because, you know, I don't know the way we're positioned here today. So visualize it's just Crow Cop throwing his left leg. So number one, there was no wind up to this kick. There was no winding up to throw that head kick, which you normally see that in MMA and kickboxing. His was just there. It was almost like he had his hip already engaged to throw it straight to the target. Now, to make a kick like this, you have to do this kick over and 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 over again, okay? That's it. Numerous, numerous times. Like Bruce Lee said, he doesn't fear the man who throws, who knows 10,000 kicks one time. He fears the man that throws one kick 10,000 times, and that was Crow Cop. You cannot throw a good head kick if your back heel is flat on the floor, all right? So if you watch Crow Cop, he had his heel off of the floor, ready to bounce that leg off the floor right to the target. Now there wasn't a whole lot of hip rotation in his kick either. But where he was aiming, he didn't really need, actually really need to roll his hip over. So it was just there. He was in his fighting stance and he just kind of walked, right? He kind of walked forward and boom, he threw it. Back heel off the floor, boom, and he throws the head kick. Now if you look, I don't rotate my, my hip as much as I normally do. Crow Cop didn't do that. Why I think too, is if you roll your hip over too much, you end up missing that prime area to kick, which is that shin bone. Sometimes if you roll your hip over too much, you can hit with the, the meaty part of your calf, and he kicked straight with that shin, that hard shin to the dome piece. Let's do it again. Boom. 
back leg engaged, hands are going to be up, right into the guy. I'm going to try and throw this like Krokop if I can without telegraph. Oh. Without telegraph. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. All right. Okay. Now, let's visualize this right here being the jaw area. So, if you're in MMA especially, and you're going to throw your head kick, throw it like Krokop, throw it a smidge higher over their guard, hitting them in that top area, temple area. Okay? So I'm visualizing this is his hand, my opponent's hand. So I gotta aim slightly higher. Back leg comes up, boom, right there. And it doesn't have to be right on, it could be right over it. He actually knocked a few guys out with their hands up, just right into their jaw. That's some power right there. That's just throwing that roundhouse kick a million times. So let's do a million roundhouse kicks. And do this when you train. Set you a target. Set you like a, maybe put a piece of tape or something like that, so you got a mental vision of where you want to throw your roundhouse kick or slightly above or below helps your accuracy. Back leg comes up, hands here, aiming a little bit higher. Boom. Just like so. Back leg, here we go. Bah! Back leg, roundhouse kick, crow cop. Thank you, sir, for your most epic knockouts. Thank you, sir. Well, there you have it, guys. Crow Cop's most devastating roundhouse kick, the cemetery. But I appreciate you guys checking it out. Throw some comments down below. Let us know what techniques you guys want us to break down next. Could be a legendary technique. You never know. Throw it down below. We appreciate you guys. Our next vid will be this Friday. We're going to be dropping our first fight camp video. Yes, UFC, December 19th. Jeff Neal, go check it out, guys. Hit that subscribe button or I will Crow Cop your head off. Boom!